Hello everybody, welcome to the third issue of the Google Checkout uh, API blog interview series. Uh, today with us we have uh, Renaud Visage, uh, CTO of Eventbrite. So, Renaud, welcome and thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, can you tell us who you are? My name is Renaud Visage, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Eventbrite. We are a company that creates tools online for uh, people who organize events to uh, manage their tickets, online sales, uh, credit card sales, and just um, managing their guest list and sending, communicating with, their, with people who go to their events. So how do you use Google Checkout in there? Um, we have two options for uh, checking out and paying for tickets. One is Google Checkout, the other one is PayPal. And, uh, we like to give options to our the people who use our site, so that's why we uh, recently integrated with Google Checkout. The, our users love it so far. So. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so what platform do you use uh, to develop Eventbrite? Um, we use mostly Python in the back end. Uh, we have a nice SQL database. And uh, on the front end, we use uh, some pages, use Ajax. We started using that recently and it does a lot to make it more interactive and requires less back and forth between the client and the server. So we're using that more and more and we'll be integrating integrating at Ajax into different areas of the site. So that's yeah. excellent. Uh, yeah we're we're loving a lot Python at Google. <laughs> Uh, d did you uh, did you see uh, Evgeny Tarasov interview that we did uh, in last issue of the yeah, checkout interview? Yes. Yeah, so he has an open source Python library. Are you using it yet? We're not using it yet. Yeah. Uh, I just heard about it, but uh, we will be looking at it for sure. We've been trying to hack things so far with our own developer, but we're looking forward to having a more stable Python library to work with. So it's Thanks again for doing it for us. Uh, I, I, I saw recently that you have a new Facebook integration. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we think um, there's great potential for us to be successful on, on Facebook. So we, the Facebook events application itself has become more popular than Evite recently, which was the number one in the, on this segment of the market. Um, but Facebook events doesn't allow the creation of events that are paid events, so you can't sell tickets or do anything like that. So we, that's what we're going to provide on top of the uh, functionality that Facebook offers. We're going to offer the, the ability to charge for your tickets and manage your um, guest lists and refund people and do all things that our users do on the regular event wide site. So it will be like two parallel sites, even right on one side, and the application that resides inside Facebook. We use the latest uh, Facebook API to develop the, this part of it. So was it difficult to integrate Google Checkout into a Facebook application? No, it was very easy. We had to make just a few changes here and there uh, between our integration on our even right site uh, to make it work with Facebook. So it was very easy, nothing major to change. Just a few redirects that all the time. Okay. <laughs> Great. No. And no complaints. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to use your application on Facebook. Uh, for the checkout API, what what worked well for you and what couldn't be improved? I think uh, we really like the simplicity of the HTML API. Um, especially since you added several different parameters that can be passed as hidden fields. So we're using that to send the card to Google Checkout. We're using mostly the HTML API. Uh, and we use the HTML API to receive the notifications and make all the status updates. And we'll soon be using it to process reforms and do all these things on through all entirely on our side. Okay. Currently, you have to do the refund on Google Checkout and it gets updated on our side. You'll be able to do that on our side. 
Yeah, so you, you can use our uh, Evgeny's library yeah. in Python to do that. It will be a <laughs> great addition to our tools. Do you have any recommendations for developers uh, that are starting with the Google Checkout API? Um, yeah, maybe I would try to go straight for the XML API if you have the ability to use that. Um, all the functionalities is there. Um, documentation is significant, so you need some time to read it and uh, see how you're going to use it. Yeah, that, that's a feedback. Uh, um, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to integrate. Okay, any recommendations for merchants who are starting with Google Checkout? Um, just do it. Yeah. A lot of people are starting to use Google Checkout as well as PayPal. PayPal has been the historic uh, player in that field, so I think people like having options and giving them these options is a great idea. I think. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, last, uh, do you have a fun story about yourself? Hmm. Well, I think very recently I had a funny story. Uh, y yourself, Patrick, and I discovered that we were neighbors in uh, the French uh, engineering school we went to. So we were not there at exactly at the same time, but we lived like one across the uh, building from each other. So yeah, that was, was really hilarious. Yes. That you were at the, <laughs> at the and We didn't even know it before we <laughs> scheduled that interview. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Thanks very much, Renaud, for coming. And uh, hey, good luck with uh, launching your event bright on Facebook. Yeah, it launched yesterday and we invite everyone to try it. So thank you for having me. Thanks very much, Renaud.